皆さん、こんにちは。お元気でしょうかお元気ですか So, お元気でしょうか or お元気ですか In Japanese means how do you do or how are you? In Japanese. So, now you know a little bit more of Japanese. So, I hope that was helpful. So,、uh, thank you for tuning, tuning in again.、Um, today, we're going to talk about this tattoo, as the title of this video may have suggested. Okay, hopefully, the video is working fine. Okay. Face to front, face to front, face to front. Oh, this is very nice. Okay. Right, so this statue is the Ashura statue from based on the national treasure in Japan. National treasure in Japan. And one of the primary characteristics of this Ashura, stretch, Ashura statue is that, whereas normal Ashura statues are you know, depicted as furious, you know, furious looking, muscular, barefooted, which this statue is not, and with you know, really like, spiky hair, like, you know, like, like in Dragon Ball, really. Right, but this statue is not at all. As you can see, it has a very kind of like a, almost like a feminine look, you know, boyish look. And it has sandals, it's not muscular, right? And the actual statue is almost about 153 centimeters, and I think it was like about like 15 kilograms, so one five kilograms. So it's quite light, right? If you consider the height of the statue, right? And that is because of the,、uh, the method it was applied in, in making the statue. But in any case, what is interesting about this statue, right? So, apart from the fact that it's different from regular, you know, normal Ashura statues, is that it has three faces, right? So, it's Sanmen, right? San is Ichini san, right? So one, two, three, Ichini san. So there are three men, face, so three faces, and lo, pi. Lo is one, two, Ichini san, shi, go, lo. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Loku. So lo, pi. Pi is elbow. So it has six elbows. Actually, it does. One, two, three, four, five, six. It has six elbows. You know? Six elbows. Right? In perfect symmetry. And if you look at this statue right here, by the way, the three faces each h a s different expressions on their faces. Right? So, it is one of the theories is that, and I think I, I like this theory, theory, is that after Ashura fought with the Taishakuten, you know, and went down the Ashura, the ways of Ashura, Ashura Do, Ashura Do, right? It basically, you know, Ashura, Ashura is, is、uh, sorry, the Shura Do, Shura Do is a very, you know, you know, bad place full of anger, full of battles, you know, et cetera. And, you know, it's a bad place. Right? Because you know, he, he was being a bad boy. He was you know, doing you know, bad things, you know, obvious,、uh, you know, apparently. And after he went down the ways of Shura, right, he actually talked to the Buddha, Shaka, right? And you know, after Shaka gave him a little bit of talk about the ways of Buddhism, he was you know, a little bit of like this. This face. Right? He was making this face. So he was, you know, thinking. Perhaps surprised. And he bit his lower lip like this. Like I'm, like I'm doing right now. Like, hmm, what should I do? You know? Contemplating might be the right word. And then he came to realization, realization which is this face in the, in the middle. He's like, wow, what have I done? Right? He's almost like Anakin Skywalker in the Revenge of the Sith, you know, episode three, right? He's like, what have I done? And then he became a Buddhist deity, right? 
which Anakin Skywalker obviously did not, but you see my point, right? So I think one of the interesting things about Buddhism is that, <coughs> sorry, is that you know, it tries to encompass all kinds of things, even bad things, and tries to make it a Buddhist deity, right? It basically welcomes on all kinds of things, right? And it does not really distinguish between good or bad, right? It tries to find good and even in the bad things. And I think it's a, I think it's one of the interesting, you know, uh, qualities of Buddhism, assets even I might call it. And I think that's why many people in Japan appreciate this statue so much, right? It's really peculiar. It's really interesting. It's really different from the from the norm. I think that's why it's interesting. So this Ashura deity is not that really famous amongst you know within the Western Hemisphere. So I haven't really seen a lot of you know sales and within ninja.com uh, to be honest with you, but I think it's still interesting. And if you are interested, you know, please do uh, shoot us an email at help at ninjaya.com, which I will provide in the description below. And perhaps when the, the site you know fully you no know, kind of reboots, um, I'm gonna make a lot of changes. Uh, it's gonna be under new system, so the look is gonna be really different. You know, I might provide a URL for the statue, as will I for other statues, I might add. Yes, and this statue is you know, from the Isumi brand, so it's really, again, it's meant for more of a, like artistic you know, pleasure. So you can put it on the table. Well, here's a table. You can't see it, but there's a table. Here's a table. And, you know, like when you like get along, go along with your day, you know, it, you might you know, have the statue um, on your table, on your desk, and you know you might it might help you to remind of remind yourself of you know, various you know things about Buddhism, or you may not you know which is totally fine. Where you can like totally uh, perfectly have owned the statue and just you know derive the artistic pleasures of this you know statue the artistic pleasures this you know, statue provides and that's entirely fine you know yeah so I hope you like this or uh, this you know very beautiful um, Ashura statue this Arctic, this Ashura statue actually comes uh, from the manufacturer in three different sizes so this is one is the smallest the Tanaka core version the on the palm version and there's a much bigger one and there's an even bigger one so you know you might want to uh, check the size that you want but you know I hope that was interesting and you know I think it's about time because it's been eight minutes going into this video uh, but you know thank you very much for your time as always and I'm gonna finish it so you know thank you very much um, see you next time bye bye